What is going on family? Starting this video out a little bit later in the day. It's actually noon right now and I haven't eaten yet. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and weigh in and show you guys what my weigh-in is looking like. Show you guys what the progress is looking like these first couple weeks of this prep. Probably looking a little different than usual because I'm not wearing a hat, but I got a little fresh haircut. So I feel a little more, more confident in my hair today. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh myself in. Like I said, I haven't eaten anything with the exception of having a coffee this morning, but I just had cream in it. So I'm not expecting it to affect anything. So you guys are remember and like a video a long time ago I used to say this thing would only work like every once in a while because it was like terrible batteries but I finally got some batteries in there so it's a properly working scale now got about 217.2 and that is actually going to be a new low weigh-in I ended off week two of the cut with a weigh-in of about 218.4 so weight is definitely moving down I want to be like extra prepared for this show though so I'm going to start adding in like one or two cardio sessions a week to try to speed the process up I'm thinking I'm going from two pounds a week to maybe three pounds a week just for the initial phase and then I'll probably start slowing it down obviously I'll have to start slowing it down as the weeks go by. Luckily, I've started the prep really far off from the show and I have the ability to do that. Later on in the video, I'm gonna go over how I calculate macros, how I track my macros, and like overall, like that whole process. So stay tuned later on for that. For the next few days, I'll be shooting some promo for Kosher because we have a change of plan and how these launches are gonna go over the next couple weeks. So I know you guys remember seeing the process of how this hoodie was kind of being perfected, and it is a perfected hoodie in my opinion. But as plans have changed and I'm just going with my gut saying that I don't think it's a good time to release hoodies instead I'm doing something different those hoodies will not be coming out so change of plan we're going to be releasing some hats and the hat colors we're going to be releasing this is actually the first time I'm telling all the colors on YouTube because I said on Instagram that I was going to release the colors later but I'm gonna show you guys right now so we have this khaki color and this time it's more of like a true beige all of the hat logos are way smaller now so it's way more of like a minimalistic style the hat is a little more sturdy in general so let me just compare this hat to the last beige this is the last one so as you can see the logo is much smaller on the new version. The beige is a little more tan than that yellowish kind of beige. Overall, it's just like the quality and the look of this better. The quality is a lot more of a sturdier hat than these. Finally bringing back the OG black hats. And this uses the same material, smaller logo. Then we have one that we have never done before, which is a white hat with the black logo. I'm actually super stoked on this. In the summertime, I know I'm gonna be rocking this color a lot. And then the last one that I have been wearing lots is going to be the navy. I'm super happy about the navy coming back. Being completely honest, I will say these hats are very similar to the 47 hats that I wear. They're pretty identical in quality. So I'm just like super hyped. I have no doubt that everybody's gonna love these new waves hats thinking the expected launch date of these hats is going to be March 16th mark it down in your calendar that's gonna give me enough time to do promotion get the hats out to like affiliates and stuff like that and just make sure everything is perfect with the website and everything before it all goes up so this is the first time giving out the launch date and the, all the colors that are coming exclusively to YouTube you guys know the YouTube fam discount code is always in the description so when that drops don't be one of those people who buys one of the hats without using the YouTube fam discount code. Because if you can get money off, why wouldn't you get money off? So don't forget to use that code. I am about to go get some content right now for these hats. So I'll meet up with you guys a little bit later in the day. Three hours later, something like that. I'm finally heading out to go to the gym. Got some photos, got some food. I'm all carved up, about to hit a big pool day. But like I said today, instead of taking you guys to the workout, I'm actually just gonna teach you guys how I calculate macros. So be like a short bit on that. And then I think I'm gonna continue to vlog for the rest of the day. Something I usually don't do, to be honest. Like I kind of just go to the gym and then I cut it. But I think I'm gonna go to Selma's house. She just got back into town. So we'll chill with her and I'll probably end the vlog off there. All right, I'm gonna take you guys through how I calculate macros. When calculating macros, you're dealing with three macronutrients, carbs, protein, and fat. Carbs contain four calories per gram, protein contains four calories per gram, and then fat contains nine calories per gram. So I'm gonna try and make this fast as possible because I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube going over this. A lot of them take like 10 to 15 minutes to kind of explain it. So hopefully this little segment doesn't take too long. So the first thing you wanna do is find your maintenance calories. The rule of thumb would be 14 calories times body weight. For this example, I'm going to use my body weight, 216 pounds times 14 calories will give us 3,024 calories. 
salads. This gets a little more complicated when you're dealing with higher body fat. So sometimes I recommend to people to just use a site that automatically calculates your maintenance calories based off your activity, your height, your age, a lot of different things that can affect that. One site that I will recommend is the calorie calculator and I'll leave that link in the description and it'll give you a general ballpark of what your maintenance calories will be. For this video, we're gonna be referring to writing your cutting macros. I generally will only go into a 100 calorie deficit right off the back. So using our example maintenance calories, 3,024, you take away 100 and you will have 2,924 calories to start your cut. And this would be a slight deficit, nothing too crazy. It should get the job done. After that, you should go ahead and find your protein. Uh, rule of thumb for most people would be one to 1.4 grams per body weight. Personally, I use one gram per body weight, but I feel like there's an ongoing argument over whether to use more or whether to use less. Uh, for this video, I'm going to use my body weight and just one gram per body weight. So that would be 216 pounds times one. Obviously, that's going to give us 216 grams per protein. Uh, the next thing I would do is find my fat. General rule of thumb is usually 15% to 25% of your calories. So what we would do here is take our 2,900 calories and then multiply that times 25%. That's going to give us 731. We take that 731 and divide it by nine, which is going to give us 81 grams of fat. We divided that by nine because there are nine calories in each gram of fat. The next thing we're going to move on to will be our carbs. And with this, is just a little bit of subtraction and addition. We'll take our 81 grams of fat, multiply that times nine. We'll take our 216 grams of protein, multiply that by four, add that together, and then we'll subtract that from our starting cutting calories. Once we do that, we'll divide that final number by four, and that should give us our carbs. And for this example, we would get 333 carbs, 81 grams of fat, and then 216 grams of protein. Like I said, keep in mind, this video is based off my body weight of 216 pounds. Everybody's macros is gonna be different, so you will have to change this completely towards your body weight, your body fat, and like how active you are. That's why I recommend finding an accurate maintenance calories. Calculating macros is really just simple math. It's really not rocket science as most people try and make it out to be. So hope you guys took from this. Hope it was concise. By no means am I a coach, but I am down to help you guys with your macros or recommend you to a coach who writes macros professionally. I just finished up dinner at Selma's place. She just got back into town and we had some pizza. Honestly, it was some of the best pizza I've had in a while. Scale to one in 10 inch GAF. I still have like 120 or something grams of protein left for the day. So I'm gonna be drinking protein like every two hours. She's trying to get me to eat these chocolates right now. I for sure cannot fit that in. I need to get this protein in. So I'm almost going to Europe pretty soon at the end of her school year, so. Two months. Two months. Two months so tomorrow. we were thinking about me coming for like a week and a half at some point in that trip. Yeah, kind of a last minute decision. I think it would be super dope to go travel. She's thinking about doing Spain. I've been to Portugal. <laughs> yes, I, I have. I hate those people that are what? in the airport for like two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I've been to Portugal. When I went to FIBO, I was Wait, in Portugal. Did I go to Japan? Yeah, well, hey, if you went to the airport, you went to the place. But I was there you for- You also didn't know the difference between Netherlands and Holland. We're gonna cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> but I am going to end the vlog right here. If you're new, join the crew, like and subscribe. Link in the bottom for something. That she actually got it right. If you're new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next, in the next video. One. Personal over, yeah. Flipping it, I gotta go, yeah. Then I get back on the road.